The book of First Samuel, chapter eight, read from five to seven. Selakia, four to seven. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And Yahweh Bashem Yahushai said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee, for they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me. That should not reign, that I should not reign over them. All praises, glory, and honor belongs to. A double honors to our apostles and to our elders who've taught us the truth. Peace and blessings to all the brothers that do this work for the four corners of the earth. My name is Kazak. A shot from GMS. Shama from GMS Toronto. Khan, the same a shalom. And once again, the spirit is with us. To um, make a, a a video, hopefully, to the what to the viewers, it'd be somewhat edifying, because we're set up to um, bring clarity and always edification that's going to nourish the body of Yahweh Shai, Shai, um, or the, the house of David, man, as we perceive ourselves to be. Hopefully, we're those men. So we uh, we um, I, I preface the video um, based on. Um, what's happening in the world you know you know left wing right wing far left middle left this that the bunch of confusion mm -hmm. you know, it's gonna be kamala or um, trump you know all this back and forth right of carnality right a cesspool of uh, 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 of um confusion which we're not a part of but we speak yeah. on it why mm -hmm. because we believe and we perceive ourselves to be men of the lord mm -hmm. I, before the camera was on, was talking in the back. They were saying um, a two-third would not be, you know, calling each other and saying, "How can we glorify and and, and, and appease the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh?" Mm -hmm. That even as a, a proclaim the name Yahweh is something extraordinary and peculiar as it pertains to our people, because our people don't even do that. God. Right? So the name of them, the Father, is Yahweh, which means he exists. And the Son, which is how we approach the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is Yahweh Shah. And mm -hmm. we know this through what? The Holy Spirit, the Rakal Kadash, which was we always preface our, uh, our, our videos, our, our, our camp meetings, and whatever we do, we always preface um, giving thanks and praise to the Heavenly Father as it's due. Everything praises belongs to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. So that being said, um, yeah. So what's going on in the world right now is a bunch of madness. Mm -hmm. Start up at um, First Samuel, and you know Israel wanted a king, right? And and the only king or, or leader we should have as a governing body is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and our King David, as we are, hopefully, um, from the house of David. That came back into our lot. Gone. Okay. Um, your brother in precept? Yeah, yeah, I gotta get a quick precept because you're going into uh the kings that are ruling this world right now, and it's said by the elite, the holy father is the ones that control every move in this place. Uh this is the book of Luke 16 and then 13, and it reads, No one can serve two masters. Um, a lot of you people put much trust into these uh um uh, to these kings with their fake, right? They have nothing to to help you in any way, right? This is just a game. For either he will hate one and love the other. And most of these people, they pray to the Holy Father to make one of these 
kings, you know, to rule this place. But at the end, you, you're going to get screwed because nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to get better, right? But sooner or later, as we always say, and they start with the apostles, the MOTB is going to be implemented no matter what. So you're sending, you're sending these rulers, these kings, to rule, and eventually you have to be taking the, the MOTB. It says, or else he will hold the one and despite the other. You cannot serve Yahweh and a mammon, right? So you can't have two two powers. You can serve both of them. <laughs> That's why the brothers say we do these lessons to verify the elect and ourselves, right? That's all. But yeah, um, and yeah, we're, we're just coming coming in a spirit, man, a spirit of um, oneness. The mm -hmm. says, um, keep your eyes single. Go on. Right? So our eye is basically laser focused on doing what is um, uh, um, right and just in the eyes of Yahweh Shai. So, so we pray that the spirit each and every day that we walk in, right? And and we know by choosing for whatever reason somebody else lead us, we know we're going to go in a ditch of destruction. Fun, yeah. Because the other nation aren't like us. <laughs> Right. We we were giving laws, statute, and commandments yeah. to, to not be beast like. And they don't rule based on these scriptures. They rule based on carnality, right? And their carnality is, is, is basically uh, a woman ruling because, hey, Kamala has no business, her being a woman, seeking leadership of anything. Gone. In our law, in our, in our culture, in our lineage, in our heritage, men are the head of households. And, and, and being a, a leader of the first world, you're, it's basically a household because it's a nation. They, they, say, they, say, they, say, they say they like an America to a great nation, which means she's saying uh, um, she, 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 everything, everything uh, relies on her say so. Right? So she's a, she, 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 if you win, would be the ruler of that nation. Making her the head of the nation, man. So it's off as hell. Right? Which is why we have a scriptures, right? These scriptures to guide us in how to maneuver and how to move. So it brings us to um, the next precept in the Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 17. Yeah. And I think it's 15. 15. Yeah. Uh, Deuteronomy 17 and 16. And it reads, Thus shall in any wise set him a king over thee, who the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, should choose one from among thy brethren, should thou set king over thee. And that that one that's from among our brethren, mm -hmm. one and only Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's that's the true and reigning power of our people. And in, in, in our kingdom, there will be a king beneath him that's going to be above us, which is going to be our King David. Mm -hmm. All right. Thus say the, the Lord. Thus say mm -hmm. the Bible. Okay. It, it reads, Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. And that word stranger is likened into a heathen, a Gentile, one from another nationality, another race. Mm -hmm seed right because they have bugged out a uh, way of thinking not because uh, uh it's, it's anything of their own the most that has bugged them out the most that um, has been all other nation bug like beast esau being the base of all those nations right and he's basically having the final say so because even if say say, say she does win like that even barack which are people voted for him based on a, a, a for the complexion. He did nothing. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. No, go ahead. No, no, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. he did nothing for the triumphant, right, of our people. Mm -hmm. He did nothing to, ex to, to extol from the father and his son. All he did was pass a lot of mo uh, um, laws, right, to, to, to uh, um, uh, um, encompass them in safety. Brought them forth, give them rights, 
which is what she's about to do. Go on. Did you, did you have the article pull up still? With, with, you can read a bit of the article where, you know, the, the heading. Uh, it says the heading is our lives are on the line. Why many, you know, the alphabet people call for a Harris win? Call for what, Selector Brother? People hope for a Harris to win. Okay, okay, con, con, right? Yeah. So these 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 alphabeters, right? They're hoping that she win. Is it to, is it because to bring more righteousness? Just the inception of of of, of what the what what who they are, right? The, the answer is, is is plain as day, because it's no. off. Like you can't be whatever the most I didn't make you into. Like whatever most I make you, that's what you are. Yeah. All right, and, and it gives you clear uh, um, how the most I defines what a what a what a male is, or what a female is, and what the uh, what uh, what their duty is on the world on this earth. Main thing is. Man's man, man, Israelite man was made to what to serve and fear the most high. That's our role, right? But in the other nations, men are basically made to, to procreate, man, procreate and, and actually be your servants because that's what they're created to do. The other nations were created to be our servants, that's right, mm -hmm. you know. So, so, so basically, them going against the order would, would have no servants <laughs> because Done. So negative. Don't make it positive. Con. Opposite the yeah. tracks. They're saying in the world, opposite the track, <laughs> well, it's opposed to. <laughs> <laughs> We're not under this man's watch, man. No, no. Right? Definitely not, no. Con. Um, me, um, let me get this because uh, Shema what? mentioned it. Lamentations 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes are yet fell for our vain help in our watching we that's have right. watched so, so basically that's how we felt like nothing is mm -hmm. going to come to fruition right this is basically in vain we're saying what we're saying because when, when i think i think jeremiah is is a, is a, is a, is a, um is a, is a, who wrote let me is it jeremiah jeremiah, jeremiah come on, come on. right at that time, it seems hopeless. Mm -hmm. But now we are at the end of this man's rulership. We mm -hmm. see the downfall. We see where he is going, and he's going nowhere fast. Gone. Right? He, he thinks he's going to what he's planning to do, which is bring all this bugged out ideology to life, and and mm -hmm. for keep it that way. We see the, the end. Gone. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So keep reading. Read, Mister. Again, as for us, our eyes are yet fell for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for nations that could not save us. That's right. And these nations, I said, is not for us. Mm -hmm. Us meaning the one third, right? The one third they see us as basically a hindrance, right? Some someone that's in their way that's causing a wedge between them. And their wickedness, which is why you know they make platforms and make laws where if we say certain things, um, yeah. uh, we get penalized, mm -hmm. right? Luckily, we don't lose for money because some people put videos and, and they get um, monetized for the video. Yeah. Yeah. If we if, if that was us trying to be monetized, we would we'd be starving. <laughs> so our mindset was never about being monetized for speaking truth. Our mindset was always to speak the truth, and hopefully, it falls on the ears that the Most High has opened to what repent, right, and come to the Lord. That's what mm -hmm. it's all about. This truth it was given to us free, so we do this free as a sacrifice, mm -hmm. right? We can be doing bug dog shit right now, yeah. okay? But the Lord will put a spirit in us to make to choose the, the time wisely, to not be on our on, on our lease. Right? Keep reading. Oh, that was it on that. That was it. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Was it. Right. Right. Uh, Isaiah 32, verse uh verse 7. 
seven and seven and eight. Verse seven. The instruments also of the churl are evil. Mm-hmm. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with mm-hmm. lying words. That's right. So all his legislation. Right? Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about. They go in power, right? Because they're doing a, a back and forth thing now where they're telling each other. And supposedly when she was um DA, some some DA or some position of power, yeah, she was locking up Jake Man yep. for, for little of things for even weed that she smoked and bragged about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a little thing going on, um, that either my type of hot tour, the hot tour girl. Mm. Supposedly she was the original hot tour girl. She was a, a supposed a tour girl, man, mm-hmm. right? Because she she was was using her her, her anatomy mm-hmm. as a, a, a propulsion, mm-hmm. right? Because she she was messing with a Jake, right? That was married, and they say he was cheating. He wasn't cheating, man, mm-hmm. right? She's a heathen woman. He had a concubine. That's all it was. But, but to, 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 to unlearn. They see that he was cheating. No, he wasn't. <laughs> she know? was also with that TV show. What's in there? Martha, that Martha Williams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Supposedly, yeah. supposedly he, he brought her up in, 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 in the limelight. God. Okay? Yeah. Which is a bugger anyway. Like like all the people, anybody that you see on ESL's platform getting paid, right? And, and, and being made into superstars, you know, they all bug out and they all lose all kind of sodomites. They're all sodomites as fish, man. God. Yeah. Right, because Esau make it plain that you have to be contrary to the to, to mm-hmm. the lowest of the low, mm-hmm. or pay you and be on his platform. All right, so it doesn't mm-hmm. matter who it is, all the men you see got dug out some way, form another, and Esau had a mm-hmm. tape of them doing That's some right. bugged out stuff. That's right. Mm-hmm. right. So she ain't no different, mm-hmm. and and she was going around, you know, identifying herself as the first Indian. Like like Elamite American, Come. right? That's was how she was, you know, pushing it around. That's why Trump, you know, that's what, that's why you know, I, 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 I like Trump, man. He not, call, not he, call little, it out. He, he says what it is. The moment I put a spirit in him to expose certain things, he, you know, Trump says, yeah. listen, you know, he says she 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 she, she, she she's how come she turn black? You know, it's like oh, wait, she's, yeah, <laughs> she's Indian, mm-hmm. and now she's black. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, a joker, man. You know, go ahead. Even when the needy speaketh right, and the needy is us, mm-hmm. right? We're the one in need of help, need of salvation, in need of our nationality. At one point, we got that back. The sinew has been put back on, right? Our skin has been put back on. We know we're not being carnal anymore. Our, our, mm-hmm. our warfare is not carnal anymore. All right, we know the name of the Heavenly Father, which is a foundation, right? But we do need a rescuing. We do need to be redeemed from this wicked society, this wicked kingdom. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we are in need. Go ahead. But the liberal deviseth liberal things. And the man, this man is a liberal man. This man, mm-hmm. is, the word liberal basically, uh, I think it means like free, mm-hmm. right? Liberty, right? Uh, you know, uh, okay, okay, okay. it's a blue letter, can blue letter word, um, liberal, and also the word churl. It's in, it's in the same uh, precept there. I have a uh, I have the I have the word churl here done in the Hebrew Strong's H3596 churl kalai kilach kilachi mm-hmm. um in in the to me it means scoundrel in this in the in the strongs in the sense of withholding niggardly niggardly churl the the real niggards yeah right is is Esau man a scoundrel mm-hmm. that's his characteristic 
Mm -hmm. right? And there's many more descriptive word um, when it comes to Esau. Mm -hmm. So the most I don't play when it comes to put this man in a, in a very uh, um, degenerate uh, um, state and how you got to um, look at this man, man. Mm -hmm. This man in from, from a high stature. Mm -hmm. uh, um, um, is it Daniel um, uh, 4 and 17? It says yeah. that he's base. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I think um, um, the, the spirit that was in um, the, the serpent, right, that um, that, that um, had Adam go off, mm -hmm. that was cursed to go in his belly, basically a low state, right? That was a dark flesh man, mm -hmm. right? But that same spirit that was in that serpent mm -hmm. has been passed over into them Edomites, man. Right. That's right. Go on. So they're, they're low down, dirty, vibe venomous snakes, man. And their venom right. now is their is their is their um is, is their legislations, their laws, mm -hmm. right? the lies they speak. Gone. All right. And that, that hasn't changed. That, that, that mindset of being in the dust have not changed. Mm -hmm. And the enmity. That was placed between the the the, 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 um, your, the, the, the serpent seeds and the woman seed has not changed either. That's right. Mm -hmm. so, which is why you can't set them as king over us because how you have a, a low down base man leading princes and judges of the Habashim Yashai. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go, on. go on. Let me try. Let me um, give a definition for um, liberal. Liberal. Fine. Um, liberal. It's uh Strong's H5068. The root is Nadab, and it's uh to incite, impel, make willing, incite, impel to volunteer to offer free will offerings. Gone. And his free offerings is basically offerings for you to sin against the most high. That's, right. That's his offering. Mm -hmm. Everything that he gave you, all the laws and licenses he give you, a license that's basically mean uh, uh, um to break God's laws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, everything you get a license for, it's something uh, um, to, to go against how about you're shy. Mm -hmm. right? Like you, know, you, have a, you have a weed selling license, you can sell weed now. Mm -hmm. And ain't nothing wrong with the plant itself because it has medicinal purposes. You, just, you can smoke it. Twist it. Right? Yeah. Like, put some crack in it or whatever, how you, 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 know, you, know, you know, zooks it up and, you know, mm -hmm. right? Like he has license for uh, for, for, for for um uh, uh, um gay bashes because pride you need a license to have a parade. He can't he can't do it even though he like he you might be exempted to, to do you know. But anything that is bugged a carabana, you need a license to have that to have, yeah. have, that, have that function. Yeah. Right. And Esau is the one issuing issuing all, all those things so you can do what go against your halbashim your shy. Gone. Okay. Gone. Are right, you saying Ashar? Yeah, let me get this. We're going into the this woman, and she was the uh, the district attorney mm -hmm. back then. She was, she was a, she has some sort of ruler power. Fine. So this is the book of Isaiah uh, ten instead of one in NLT, mm -hmm. and it reads: What sorrow awaits the unjust judges and those who issue unfair laws? Fine. And we know these laws are usually made by corporations, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that leading into a uh, link with uh, Daniel uh, 7 and 25, and it read, and he should speak great words against the Most High and should wear out the sins of the Most High. And, and there's that word great. Mm -hmm. Every time this man, you know, is mentioned in the Bible or, or somewhere, he always mm -hmm. has, has to be prefaced as great. Done. The Bible says you're base, man. Make him great again. Well, make you know, him make great again. That's the brother of the man, great. Mm -hmm. uh, Alexander the Great. Oh, yeah, he's a brother, yeah. man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead. It reads to change times and laws, and they should be given into his hand until a time in the times and the dividing of time. Mm -hmm. So, from time to time. And he's the one that made these laws and, and, and these laws in order to, you know, control. This society, right? Uh, back when I said 10 and 2, uh, they deprive the poor of justice and deny the rights of the needy among my people. Mm -hmm. They they prey on widows and take advantage of the orphans. 
That's right. And it doesn't mean literal orphans and literal widows, even mm -hmm. though that might be the case in some instances. But the widow is a person or woman that doesn't have a husband. Go on. And the husband to the nation in the spirit is Yahweh Shai. So we are the widows, man. And the orphan, meaning you're fatherless. We're fatherless in the sense that Yahweh ain't dealing with us right now. Go on. That's why there's an adoption spoken of in the so-called New Testament where you know we have to be adopted back uh, uh, into the fold. By who? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, back to Yahweh. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 3, what will you do when I punish you when I send the sorcerers upon you from a distant land, to whom will you turn for help? Where will your treasures be safe? That's right. So the Mosai is asking a question, which is valid to the mm -hmm. heathens, to your so-called uh, arch enemy, Esau, Edom. And you, the, all you guys, what are you going to do when the Lord, you know, visits the earth and starts yep. you know, asking, you know, yo, what's up? You know, you've, mm -hmm. been, you've been talking all this stuff, right? You've been saying, you know, you're the, you're the hammer, right? You run things, you know, you are the power. All right, mm -hmm. so I'm going to check you on that. Come on. <laughs> so what you going to do? Well, it's true. We know what you're going to do. You're going to come like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, Is that it? Yeah, that, that was it on that. Yeah, that was right. the point. Oh, oh, man. So, 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 so back in... um. You're, you're done that the priest we had you you're done in that precept Come on, yeah. Come yeah. On. All right so you know I was speaking earlier about us being of the hopeful of the body of the house of David right mm -hmm. King David always was speaking um in the spirit right all them Psalms right was was him just speaking in, in the spirit and at times he didn't even know what they, what he was saying because like we now can go and decipher based on the spirit given to us from up on high, which is the Holy Spirit, and we understand these scriptures now, right? Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, David, King David was a, was a prophet. Let's prove that. Um, Acts 2, we get Acts 2 started um, uh, when we 29 to 30. Acts 2 29 to 30. 29? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Acts 2, 29. 28. Acts 2, one second, another John. Acts. Acts 2, 28. 28. Yeah, man. Acts 2, yeah. Um, 29 to 30. Yeah. Well, it's missing on the on the blue letter. Shit. Oh, I got it here. Come. You got it? Okay, come. Yeah. Uh, Acts 2 and 29, it reads. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and the sepulchre is with us unto this day. That's right. You know, we we are an embodiment of that king, mm -hmm. right? That's what we call the house of David. All right, keep reading. Therefore, being a prophet, a what? A prophet. That's right. So King David was always speaking in the spirit. That spirit of Yahweh Shai. All right, Revelation 19 and 10. Keep reading. And knowing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai had sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up a Mashiach to sit on his throne. That's right. So, so it's the, the, our King David had that gift. Right, that we, you know, we're hoping that it is the same gift that he had. We now have, mm -hmm. and we're, we're reciprocating and reciting uh, on, on, on the, the Bible as he did. That same spirit from up on high is now been endowed to us, right? And through that, let's go to Psalms one ten. Psalms one ten, it's our one. Psalms one ten. One ten and one. It reads Psalms 1 The Lord Yahweh say unto my Lord, Sit thou at right my right hand until they make the enemies thy full stool. That's right. So that's why we in this voting, my this man. Mm -hmm. right? The King David was in his spirit and he was prophesying. 
He's saying the Lord said to my Lord. Right. So mm -hmm. Yahweh said to Yahweh Shai, sit at my right hand. Isn't that what um uh, it was it that Daniel when when it opened or Ezekiel when it opened up and he saw the heavens open up and he saw um, Yahweh Shai sit on the right the right hand of the heavenly Father, right? So this is how you know he says through the precepts I get an understanding. This book is faithful and it's true. John. So so we are running to be no damn illiterate bug outs putting an X oh. beside any 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 heathen's name because that X that you put. On the, on the on the so called election election form or, or whatever you say it means it means yeah. you, 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 you're, you're an idiot you can't read mm -hmm. only people that can't read and have understand to put x that means that means that means, that means uh, um you're basically illiterate mm -hmm. and that's what that that's what they're counting on that you're so stupid and bugged out that you think they're for you mm -hmm. <laughs> right we know the heavenly father is only dealing right with the nation of Israel, and that's why only the nation of Israel, the one third, not the whole, not the whole, nothing in, in its entirety, because two thirds is likened unto the beasts and likened unto the heathens. Only a third of the people will get this knowledge and know what it is that most I want, as in his statute and his judgments. Right? He has not dealt so. Okay. Psalms 1, um, 19 20. Let's bring it up. Psalms. Psalms 19? No. 147, verse 19 and 20. And it, it explains itself. Yep. 19 and 20. Uh, Psalms 119. No. Psalms 147 and 19. Yeah, 147 and 19. Yeah. He showed this word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgment unto Israel. Verse 20. He had not thou so with any other nations and as for his judgment they have not known them praise you the lord yahweh that's right so the most i have statutes and judgments and we know them right and it's one of those secret things mm -hmm. that's why we ain't voting for no 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 heathens and nobody because we went to the scriptures we search scriptures and it's it's basically give us a guidance and direction of how to move right in this men's society we know that we're not going to vote for anybody other than Yahweh Shai, right? Mm -hmm. Because what? We are the hopeful elect, and we hope that we are the one that was predestined for this truth, for the redemption, and for the, res the resurrection in, in, in spirit, right? We, 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 we hope we're those, those dry those dry bones that was cast out, right? And and, and, and it's not promised to um, mm -hmm. be in the first resurrection, mm -hmm. right? Because we want to see this place fall down. We, we're hoping that we're the, we're the man that sit burned to the ground and see it fall down and being beamed up in them chariots, man. That's God. our faith. That's our that's our faith for life that we're going to be beamed up at the end of this all. Mm -hmm. We hope that endurance was given unto us to what carry on to the end. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I got one. Um, go I see a fourteen and eighteen. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, everyone in his own house. That's right. Meaning what? Each nation, right, mm -hmm. have a ruler, have a ruler, a rule over it, man. Have, have their own thing, their own customs, their own culture. What is it they like to do? And the most has made it that way. All right. He's made us separate. That's what that word holy, that's what it means. Right. All right. It means separate and, and, and sanctified. Mm -hmm. Hence the word saints. That's all we know. We are the saints. Thanks, yeah. God. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, first, first 19. But thou art cast out of thy grave like a vulnerable branch and is and as the red men of those that are slain trust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit as the carcasses Charting on their feet. What was it? Is it? Fine. Yeah, don't go on that. Yeah, so, 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 so um, it says, um, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an mm -hmm. abominable branch. Mm -hmm. And that the raiment of those that are slain. So, so the, so, so the most is basically saying, like, listen, he ain't dealing with those other nations, men. Yeah. Right? They're, they are always going to be filthy rags. Mm -hmm. We, in our, in, in our lot right now, the most I said, 
our residents are like filthy rags. Guess what? Other nations, the most unlikely they want to spit yep. that they're nothing. Yep. <laughs> right? Which is why the more they they, they can't be pleasing to the Heavenly Father. Right. Right? They're ever gonna be dirty and filthy and disgusting. Why? Because they're an unlawful uh, um, free creations, right? The creatures of the Heavenly Father was sanctified, but the, those creatures that sanctified are of the hopeful elect. Yasha Allah. That's right. Okay. So we just want to speak on this 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 voting, you know, who to vote for and who not to vote for. We know um that our votes, right, so to speak, in a, in, in a worldly sense, but we know our faith, right, our hope relies in Yahweh Bashem Yashai as our rulers, right, as the ones that we're subservient to, as the ones that we're subjected to, as the one that we we choose mm -hmm. under, so we understand Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Gone. So let me let me bring let me bring this one out. Last one. Uh, I say at thirty-one and one. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Fine. And they stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many and a horsemen because they are very strong, but they but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. That's right. And neither seek the Lord Yahweh. That's right. So so that's basically um death and destruction. Yeah. Moses said death and destruction to anybody outside this arena. Right, because outside this arena, they are hope Trump wins. Kamala, she's a black woman, and, and uh, they, they, they're back and forth, and uh, as, as it pertains to that, and then Trump is gonna is gonna expose, is, is gonna drain the swamp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, he's gonna expose Q and on. That's just some madness, man. Yeah. So, so they're trusting in Egypt's strength and chariots, you know, mm -hmm. right. which which is it's basically. Uh, um, um, old technology co co compared to what the Moses is going to bring, Go on. Yeah. right? So, doesn't matter what Esau is, is is showing and how strong his army is and what kind of laser he has and a space station or whatever he says he yeah. had. Yeah, we know the most I consider that analog, so to speak, in the everyday term. This is ancient, this old, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so yeah, man. So, our trust again. Um, I'm rest with yeah, and if you are if you consider yourself a man of, man of the Lord, that's going to be your mindset, and you should not want to be you know, you know, you know, on a vote and you know, just 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 to make sure, and you know, no, that means you have no faith, right? Our faith rests and relies in those names, and those names have a reputation of being tried, tested, and true. That's right. So, Right. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and the double honors to the apostles under the elders of Great Millstone, who taught us the truth. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, that do this work for the four corners of the earth. My name is Kazak. I'm a chef from GMS Toronto. Shabbat from GMS Toronto. Khan, we're saying Shalom. 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 Yeah. <laughs>